Hey, is this the Bernice? This, this Bernice, am I on the air? Ho hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. And the deli is nice. Everybody's so nice in the deli. And I went down there to the produce. They got fresh greens. Huh? They got Valdeia sweet onions. They got uh, uh, fresh bell peppers, green bell peppers, red bell peppers, yellow bell peppers. They got cabbage, greens, everything just fresh. Ain't nothing like Walmart deli. Then, and then the, you, you, you think it's thunder and lightning and then it start raining on the, uh, start raining on all of the, the, the vegetables and making they look fresh. Yes. No, I ain't never seen a bug in it. And, and they got that sweet yellow corn. Yes. Go to Walmart. Don't go nowhere else. And get an apple from nowhere. That's forbidden fruit. All right, hey, that's our time. And hey, before we get out of here, I'd like to thank our new sponsors, Wendy's Wedding Planning and Funeral Home and the High Roller Resort Casino, where you never have to gamble to have a good time. That's it for the Ricky Spider Morning Show. We are out of here. We out. Peace. Yo, Ooh. have you been to that casino? No. Yo, the showgirls there are so fine. I didn't make it rain, Ricky. I made it flood, dog. What? I'm talking about 25 cents everywhere. Just change, just flying all in the air. You made it drizzle. Well, I made it back. And thanks for mentioning the casino. They say that we can get a thousand listeners to mention our station first. They will buy more ads, which means more money. More honey. More funny. More places for Ricky to perform. That don't rhyme with what we just said. Not at all. I know. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I think we got another call. Ricky Smiley Morning Show. I know who I'm calling. Put Ricky back on the phone. Yes, Miss Bernice. What you advertising for the casino spa? You know God ain't pleased. That's a gateway to hell. Look, 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 look. If you don't like the casino, don't go to the casino. What you need to do is concentrate and focus on something you can't control, like uh, like like your bladder. <laughs> Maurice, I don't think that was funny. No, no, no. Sometimes you got to keep these Christian folk in check. Right, Ricky? She gonna beat your ass. I will fight a Christian person. I swear I will. All right, this is Paternity Test Tuesday, and today we are joined in the studio by Stan, a wonderful ventriloquist, and his dummy. My name is Sticks. Man, why would you bring your dummy up here? It's a radio show. I got a DUI, and he drives. All right, Stan, we have two women that claim that you're the father of their children. These kids were born only a month apart. Are you the father of these two kids? Definitely not. But I need you the father of one. Man, would you stop that? I can see your lips moving. Why are you talking to a dummy? He ain't the only one. All right, Stan, before I give you the results, do you have anything that you want to say? Why didn't he ask me? Would you shut up? You can't get nobody pregnant. Anything can happen when I sticks it to him. <laughs> I crack myself up. That's messing you up, man. <laughs> All right, let's give you the results where you and Chucky can get up out of here. Chucky? Chucky ain't got wood like this. All right, Stan Tipwater, you are the father of both kids. What? No, I need a second opinion. Second opinion? Hey, this ain't no cholesterol test. This is a real deal right here. Yeah, man. Be a man. Be responsible. You too. Don't look at me. It's him. He the one. <laughs> Let him hit. <laughs> You'd be surprised, because I hit it. You hit it first, I hit it second. I hit it. I hit it. That's what I do. I hit it. I hit it. All right, that's how it goes down right here on Paternity Test Tuesday on the Rick Smiley Morning Show, and I hope the man gets some therapy. Take care of your kids. Yes, fathers, you got to take care of your shorties. Hold on. We, we got another call. Hey, I hope this is not Pinocchio talking about sticks as his real daddy. <laughs> no, nothing like that. But I'm glad to hear that you and Kenny all about fathers stepping up and taking care of their responsibilities. Got to do that. No doubt. Good, because I've got a surprise for you, Kenny. What is that? Wait, who is this? I can show you better than I can tell you. See you soon. Yo, Ricky, you always trying to punk somebody. Who was that? That wasn't no prank phone call, but that's a real deal. Hmm. Thirteen.
14. Now, what 15. are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Taking a sobriety test? No, I measure for countertop sofas and chairs because if the casino doubles up, <laughs> we can upgrade the break room, baby. <laughs> nice, yeah. nice. I like it, I like uh -huh. it. Yeah. So look, tell me about the surprise that the lady caller has. Heck if I know, Kenny. Come on, Mo. You ain't gonna tell me. Look, if I knew, I'd tell you. Just to spoil the surprise, because I don't like you. Come on, man. Send it right there. Send it right there, baby. Send it right there. Uh, ladies, get your bags up off the floors. Oh, what, what are you, whoa, you know how to drive that thing? I've been driving before you was hatched. Sister Bernice, be careful with that thing. Hey, 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 Listen, I was not attacking her, okay? I was worried. You need to be worried about that skeezer that done called up here to this radio station. Where she call up here, pa? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Y'all need to go back to the nursing home. It's soup time. <laughs> what are y'all doing? What are we doing? This <laughs> ain't talking. Let him ain't know. Ain't that ugly? <laughs> we are staging a protest. Mm -hmm. A protest for what? A protest against this station. Y'all encouraging people to go down there to that casino. <laughs> This is a radio station. What are y'all doing in here? Go tell it on the yeah. mountain. Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on Magic Mountain. Go tell it on Magic City. I don't care, but you need to get up out of here. Are you trying to say you don't want us up in here saying go tell it on the mountain? No, I'm trying to tell you don't be up in here saying go tell it on the mountain. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Go lay down my bird. on all three of you and gonna lock you up. Every last you one. Say you hear what he's saying? You hear what he's saying? You're gonna take some Christian loving God fearing women and throw us out there on the street like nasty dogs. <laughs> you, you behind me saying when you going to hell and the mm. truth ain't in you. Mm. 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 That is mm. uh. I Tell you what. I bet I can stay in this office longer than y'all can stay in here saying Christian songs in the break room. I tell you what, we know Mahalia Jackson, all her songs. We know all Rita Franklin's song, The Amazing Great City. Mm -hmm. We know everything on Sound of Blackness, Thank The you. Mighty Clouds of Joy. Mm -hmm. We know them all, baby. We ain't got nothing but time. We even know a couple of Chris Brown songs. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. I hope you run out of oxygen, all three of you. <gasps> I ain't gonna study on no more. I ain't gonna study. Ricky. Um, he went to get his car washed. Oh. Oh, yo, 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 Simone. What's up with the surprise? That Sister Bernice knows every Mahalia Jackson song ever made? <laughs> no, I'm talking about the girl that called the radio station. Who was she? Uh -huh. Listen, I'll give you $20. Put away your paycheck, Kenny. I don't know anything about the woman who called. But it looks like Sister Bernice has sent in some reinforcements. No, wait. Dad. Mm -hmm. Well, who is this? Mm -hmm. Tequila. What are you doing here? Ain't that pitiful. You know, ask the girl that she wants something to drink before he said, hey, cat, dog, how you doing? Spoke to her. Nothing. Sister Bernice. Her name is Tequila. Mm -hmm. Ew. Wait, you know her? Oh, he knows me. We hooked up almost two years ago at Club Cop and Run. Oh, that Club Cop and Run. That's a club down there where half hour only lasts 10 minutes. Don't ask me how I know that this what they tell me. Oh, well, last time you grabbed me like that, I ended up pregnant. And what are you doing here? Uh, Kenny, you never called me back. It was Club Cop and Run. I was following directions. Uh, okay, well, well, back to the question. What are you doing here? I'm the woman who called this morning. And? And I wanted you to meet your kids. Ha! Oh. <laughs> 